was like, where the hell is my phone at? Because I did not look at any notes. Okay. <laughs> Intro the podcast. Go ahead. I've been doing it for a minute. Now. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> boys and girls. Welcome to the hottest podcast. What if it was like that? This boy. We still need an intro. Welcome to the hottest podcast in Milwaukee. Crash Jummies Podcast. I mean, it's not. It's facts. We are. We're going to stop being. We're being. We're being. We've been doing We are the tomorrow. hottest podcast in Milwaukee, for okay. sure. Outside of some of them sports pages got a lot. Yeah. Of entertainment. All right. All right. You guys probably don't care about it. <laughs> they really don't give a fuck. They're like, okay. What am I going to do this motherfucker? <laughs> anyway, welcome to episode 35 of Crash we Dummies Podcast. That shit. Um, who's 35? Kevin Durant. No, oh, he's not uh, 35 anymore. Mm, mm. I forgot about that. Yeah, I he's forget seven. about that too. Yeah. I'm tripping. Shit. <laughs> It's a wrap. <laughs> well, wherever you're listening to this from, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, like and rate us on Apple Podcasts. Share our content everywhere. Um, continue to support us. Our monthly listeners are gro- growing every month. and Going th- crazy. We've been putting out content on you know TikTok. Some of them going viral. Some of them are doing pretty good. And that's pretty much a lot of people have been saying, like the comments I've been seeing. Uh, some friend told me about your podcast and this and that. So... That's a little thank you guys for, you know, recommending us to your friends. Yeah, that's dope. You guys have to recommend the right episodes, too. You got you to gotta yeah, know. You got to rec- send them. It's just like, yeah, <laughs> any series of things like this, yeah. send them to something. Like, you know Send them a laugh. TikTok. So when you, which, if they were ever want to, like, get to know what the podcast about, like, go look at our pin, like, TikToks we have. So I don't want to know. Yeah, that's kind of, I guess, I guess that's a good reason to do pin. It's like, this is yeah. why you hear yeah, yeah. these type of jokes to let you know right yeah. away. Yeah, we, we, we might not hit every time on a joke or, right. or it might not be that funny to them. Right. Especially because I think about when you're listening to something, it's all about the relationship you kind of have with those people. You're like, you feel like you have with those people. And like, because you've been listening to them since episode one. So like, yeah, yeah. if somebody's catching us episode six and we're talking about something that may be like, only if you listen, yeah. yeah, and only if you if you listen to pre- previous episodes, you know where we kind of stand on it. Why yeah. this is funny, so that kind of that stuff happens. But I like to think we're kind of evergreen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened this week, man? I don't know. <laughs> nothing happened this Not week. Not for real. <laughs> nothing really, though. Whoa. Obviously, we <laughs> we said nothing like the, <laughs> right, the like, biggest shit's not happening in like, the world. Yeah, yeah. Prayers out to everybody in uh, Ukraine for sure. Got a couple friends out there trying to get out right now, so hopefully. Yeah, that whole situation is crazy. The one I don't really want to get into mm-hmm. it like that. Uh, I don't feel like it's our type of subject. Yeah. But the one thing I will say about it is like, bro, if the hopefully it doesn't, but if a war does happen. Mm-hmm. Obviously, the la- it'll always be, you know, the next war will have the most social media attention. But yeah. Social media right now is crazy. Yeah. Like, the amount of fake... We're in a we're in an era of, like, fake news. Mm-hmm. Like, there's always been fake news, but now there's apps and stuff that you can actually put fake news on yeah. and get it out there even quicker. Mm-hmm. So, saying that, there's so much fake news. Like, uh, for instance, there was, like, a rumor that this uh, single jet was going over... Ukraine mm-hmm. uh, by their capital and defeating a bunch of Russian soldiers. Yeah, this this clip. Ooh, you know the flight go over and everybody watching it. So in America, we all like, oh man, this dude badass. Who is he? Ghost of however you pronounce the country. Mm-hmm. Um, they call him the ghost of that, saying he's all that, and just like come to find out, it's a game simulator. Yeah. Like, it's not true. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Like, how many clips are like, okay, it's a soldier kissing his daughter goodbye, and he crying. you like, damn, that's sad. But is that from this war? Yeah. I think that that happened, too, and I forgot other cases, but especially in, like, the uh, from what I've seen in the past, like, the Middle East, they'll show, like, a, a fake bombing or something that happened, maybe not in that same context. And then use that as reason to say, this is why we're about to do that because of that false information mm-hmm. we're like spreading. Exactly. So, yeah, it's crazy. The, the one thing I do uh, take, because we got uh, we have Ukrainian listeners that listen to our podcast. Yep. So yep. if you're listening yep. to this right now in in these hard times, like, dude, yeah. you evacuated yeah. Or, or if you're a soldier, you fighting. Yeah, facts. Like, you're but doing whatever you what want I want to, to say, too, is that from what I noticed just from like obviously the news and stuff like that is that the Ukrainian people are like, it, it, 
are really tight knit people because like one of those things where it's like if you know no matter if we I, agree or disagree we all going to fight for this right listen but that don't happen say, here listen this ain't <laughs> no joke about no war yeah no nothing they gotta love ukraine yeah because boy if i hear about some soldiers in california yeah exactly like hey it ain't looking too good you know the news reports we're gonna lose this war we the canada oh canada <laughs> yeah, exactly That's or i'm to mexico it's a wrap bro i'm not i'm not staying here and fighting for a country like, yeah i just can't like we got we got some issues to still exactly. get out of america we got to work on our relationship like, exactly so from noticing that it's just like different i feel like it's different here because from what I've been seeing on social media on both sides, people are blaming this person. This is why you should teach your son this and that, or we should have had, if we had this president in, this wouldn't happen. Or you're using a war, a, a war that's happening. People are dying for your political reasons yeah, to prove to your, push, or yeah. to, or to prove your, they your, always do that. or to prove your like political point. The, I hate the, I told you so. It's like when it comes to people, like <laughs> somebody died. Like, yeah. Like it's a school shooting. Let's actually figure out, you know, how to stop yeah. school shootings and something like that. Oh, this is why this would never happen in such and such exactly. America. So you took these kids dying in a tragic event to push your agenda about who should be president. Yeah. That's the perfect time for you to do that. It means you really never gave a fuck. Yeah. And just, you know, praise out, man. Praise out. I don't want to I don't want to stay on uh, uh, Yeah, I don't want to stay on top of war. I want to stay on top of war. But you know what I was thinking? Yeah, so I was, so I was watching a scary movie the other day, mm -hmm. and I realized why you know the Jasons, the Freddies, uh, you know whatever other person kills people. Yeah, those type of guys. <laughs> so what are the other person? This is, I'm missing one. Jason, Freddie, and this is like another the Leprechaun major. one. No, it's the other dude with the mask. Michael Myers. Michael Myers. There we go. <laughs> Jason, Freddie, and Michael. And you wonder like how they kill everybody every time. That the killer, Michael Myers, is about to kill someone. Mm -hmm. The people that's with them watch the other person die first. Yeah. They don't help. <laughs> Sometimes they help. They don't run right away and just turn their back. Like your man's, he just got stabbed in his chest. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wrap, bro. <laughs> Unless you He's got gone. it on you. He's 30 yards away. Yeah. You're not making it there. Mm -hmm. It's time to go. That's why y'all keep dying. That's why he up on y'all. And that's why y'all ain't slid back. Because, bro, do you letting this one dude kill? It's a wrap. It's just me and Mikey here. Killer came in here. He only killing one of us. <laughs> I don't care. I know what he going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Bro, I would be pissed yeah. if you came back and saved me and I'm already there laying there half dead. Like, you really let him kill you too, you fucking idiot. <laughs> You ain't getting no two for one with us, no, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, dead. You can get one of us. You got to come in here heavily armed. You stab Mike in his neck right now. Yee! <laughs> Especially if you Jason or Freddy, bro. What? I already watched your tape. You got to, yeah. You, <laughs> you gotta undefeated. Assess the, you got to assess the situation for sure. In that. You undefeated. I'm not talking about, like, no like civilian coming up. Mm. I'm talking about, like, Jason or, or Michael Myers, bro. He just stabbed you in your neck, bro. Yeah. Nobody's ever defeated him before. I'm looking. Mike's half dead. Yeah, <laughs> I need to get the fuck on. So even, could, even if it was somebody dressed as uh, just a random criminal yeah, dressed as rap. like, if he's crazy enough to dress up as Michael Myers right now, <laughs> hey, people are always trying to fight those people and they die. It's just bet like you rather just get away and assess the situation. Like this motherfucker yeah. was really in a mechanic outfit with a white mask on trying to kill me. <laughs> like you gotta breathe first. Yeah, then go find him. Like. Hey. <laughs> 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 oh man oh since we're on like uh celebrities but there are celebrities but, but don't you hate not the don't you hate it's isn't it funny when uh <laughs> well, when the fuck were we talking about celebrities <laughs> <laughs> i thought michael myers and those are like celebrities what? <laughs> they're fictional characters there are celebrities <laughs> no they're not bro. they are celebrities no celebrity is like the person that plays the character yeah but they're celebrities though no, that's movie like, celebrities no. <laughs> yes they are they're movie celebrities he called the characters they're famous in their own movies that's like saying so adam sandler like 10 different people he's famous though the whatever his character uh lucky gilmore 
<laughs> he's famous. <laughs> but the point I was trying to say is, isn't it funny when people try to say, um, people say I look like this celebrity when it's really only them that, <laughs> that have been saying they look like that celebrity? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that gotta stop. Even if it's like, sometimes it's like, okay, I can see why you said that. You got big ass lips. You think you look like Jay-Z. I can yeah. see why you said that, but you're setting yourself up right now. Yeah. That's the only part that bothered yeah. me. Like, if you slip to me, like, yeah, everybody say I look like, uh, you know, the girl talking. Everybody say I look like Beyonce. Like, yeah. Ah, you don't, but I... <laughs> You wear your hair blind. You can yeah. sing. You know, you got a couple features that match. But you can, you can, but you posting should, it to strangers, bro. <laughs> you shouldn't say you look like the. You can't say you look like somebody. No, as a guy, you really can't. <laughs> as a, I don't think you should as as any gender. Really, anybody. But as yeah. a guy, it's like. So, but saying you look like you, you hear a girl say, "I look like Beyonce." Yeah, that's crazy. Nine times out of ten, they probably don't look like Beyonce. That, do you you want to know why I say that's? I feel like. I don't know. I just feel like it's it's just weirder when you can possibly obtain what that person has when you say you look like them. You know what I mean? Cause mm-hmm. More more likely it's because of fandom. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the dude on TikTok that looked like NBA Youngboy. Mm-hmm. And he always posting on his page and he always doing Youngboy stuff. It's like Youngboy's a rapper. Yeah, he's talented. But, bro, what if you could be a famous rapper and you sitting here trying to, like, make your money off looking like yeah. that? Like, that's crazy. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Like those Michael Jackson in person is, mm-hmm. uh, Elvis. Like people do that for a living, bro. Yeah. Like it's a dude out here acting like Michael Jackson for a living. Making money off it too. Yeah, because people miss Michael Jackson that much. Yeah, facts. That's crazy. You see, um, Big Sean was trending on Twitter the other day. No. <laughs> the reason it was trending because there's the, the people were saying there was allegedly a, a leaked nude. Bruh. <laughs> but listen. <laughs> what listen, listen, listen. Okay. Is I'm 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 going somewhere with this. So Big Sean said it wasn't him in the shade room comments, right? Mm-hmm. My th- my thinking now is that does someone claim that's them? If like the the cause from from the Twitter there the, all especially in the comments in the shade room, all the girls are like, Oh, see why they call him Big Sean, this and stuff like right. so like you're getting all that praise. Do you claim do you That's claim yours. it? And how do you go about claiming? <laughs> it depends. It depends That's, on. It depends on where you at in your life. Yeah. If you married with kids, you praying to God somebody don't link those two pictures. Yeah. But but the thing is, like, like you say, like you go to a club and then the girls are like you you're in front of girls and like a single dude is like oh uh, the girls are <laughs> the girls are saying that say you're in like a group of girls then and like. You hear the girls talking about the Big Sean's uh, tweet, right, right, right. and then you and you know that's your and you knowing that's yourself. You're like, that's not even him. Like, you gonna look, you gonna look crazy. <laughs> yeah, you gonna look crazy. There's no way you can prove it. Either. Yeah, you gonna look weird proving it. I guess you're right. <laughs> Nobody can you know that. You gotta take that. You just gotta see the praise that you're getting, <laughs> you're getting on the internet. Yeah, you can't say that. That's gonna look so weird if you do. Because everybody gonna know you looked at the picture. <laughs> Obviously, it's your picture, but yeah. they're gonna be thinking you're trying to claim another man. Yeah, yeah that's that too. <laughs> but that's mine. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> oh man, we. But the thing about it that is, it's also weird is that I feel like girls have to be more sensitive to situations like that too. Because in the comments, they, all of them were just say, like saying, you know, putting the eye emoji and like, oh, just you know, just saying like. Uh, what well, I say, lusty stuff to, to about Big Sean. Yeah, and the thing is, like <laughs> at the end of the day, his, his shit got leaked. His privacy got leaked. Same That's thing with the same thing with the Isaiah Rashad thing. People, people don't treat celebrities like people. Yeah, that, that'll never happen. Yeah, because they're saying, you know, a lot of people go back on it and say, if you have enough money to hide it, mm-hmm. then people shouldn't feel bad, which yeah. isn't true. But it's true to an extent, mm-hmm. and that's why you're famous. That's why you make money because so many people pay attention. Yeah. So you can't get mad when you make a mistake. I'm not saying, you know, him. I'm saying like, like a Kim Kardashian mm-hmm. being mad that someone brings up her sex tape. Yeah. Like sh- she shouldn't be that mad because the reason people saw that that's part of your legacy, which mm-hmm. got you here. Yeah. It's like yeah, I get it. Like you don't want to be walking with your kids like. 
hey, Kim, can you do a part two or something like that or blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you, don't want no dis- you don't want no disrespect. Yeah, like, that'd be doing too much. Yeah, you don't want no disrespect, but also it's like these why people know you, so you mm-hmm. can't get mad when they bring it up or you can't be- get mad when they get mad that you made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, facts. Like, that's why they're paying attention to you. Fact, the mundo. Did you hear the uh, the Donda 2 listening party? The Don No. I saw it's part of it. Yeah, yeah. I saw a Jack Harlow song, um, Soldier Boy song, which I want to say, like, Soldier Boy is an icon. Don't get me wrong. Soldier Boy is an icon. Uh, one of the greatest ever. Mm-hmm. Doesn't get enough credit for what he does. He's still doing crazy things, but yeah. even staying relevant this long. Yeah. It's crazy. Icon. Blah, blah. <laughs> he is trash. <laughs> The, and, and 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 that's okay because like it's moved on, that's okay it's moved on from his style yeah like his style is trash now mm-hmm. you know what i mean it wasn't trash it was the hottest thing ever yeah at one point I, and and it's hard for like people like that to switch like you have to be a really good artist to kind of go with the times to kind of keep your own you know like mm-hmm. you gotta, everybody can't be usher you know what i mean yeah. just keep flowing with the time so it's just like when kanye makes someone look that good it'd be like bro i wonder what kanye could do for me bro mm-hmm. the one i heard this verse i was like the verse wasn't like the best verse on earth but it was still like had that nostalgia in it knowing that that's soldier boy so it was it's like soldier boy it's the same thing with lil yachty is like i think i don't think so, a lot of people like the way lil yachty rap it's mm-hmm. just like the nostalgia when he comes back and just yeah like, that's lil yachty damn he put together a flow because every once in a while he just be so off and mm-hmm. it's kind of like oh, I didn't like that Lil Yachty song. Yeah. But when you, Lil Yachty come like in Super Saiyan mode, it's kind of like how um, a lot of people are doing G Herbo right now. Mm-hmm. It's like when G, all of a sudden G Herbo like I'm done rapping off beat. Yeah. And everybody like this is what we've been wanted you to do and everybody <laughs> like yeah. Like, now he like crazy hot. Right yeah, now. facts. But yeah, the I listened to the whole thing. Pretty decent album. A couple. It, it was felt more like soulful to me. Like there was a lot of uh. It was just like really like emotional type of music, yeah. More feeling music. I love like, like the techno I, stuff too was really dope. Well, I, Kanye's I, yeah, Kanye's Kanye. I love what he's doing right now. Like I don't think like I know me and you get on people for saying uh, his um, documentary out genius mm-hmm. uh, on Netflix changes so many people's perspective on life. Mm-hmm. It's like because. We we've been through a lot. Yeah, you know what I mean. And we say that jokingly too. It's yeah, just, like it's just like the it's okay the for our artists end. to influence you. Yeah, weak ass dude. Not playing, <laughs> but no, it's okay. But in in saying that, it just realized like how powerful Kanye is. Like he just took all his fans back. What what person could be next to Trump and make America like name another person that yeah. can have a make America great again right? and then go back and get the other side back on his side mm-hmm. like hey y'all remember where I'm from this is why I was doing it yeah you know what I mean mm-hmm. and then for him to like okay you still don't know how I'm thinking I got some people back on my side just in case you still this is where I'm from this is what I came from this is what I've been saying the whole time so m- me calling out George Bush on TV should be enough for you to believe that I'm doing the right thing with yeah. Trump. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's what he like. And then he throw the that's why I think this next episode that's coming out about to be about is just like show you like my, kind of the more current stuff. Yeah. And it's and it, I think it's gonna match up to his political stance then and like what he was trying to do then. Because yeah. a lot of people still don't know what he was doing with when the he, Bush thing. The I mean, still the Bush thing, right? They'll get an insight on that. Then they'll get an insight on the Trump thing. Then they'll also get an inside on like well, like what he's doing now. Yeah, you know what I mean. Even maybe some of the Kim Kardashian stuff. We don't know if he's gonna touch in on that or like when they were trying to free people. Yeah, not not their relationship when they were trying to free people. Remember the like the Larry Hoover stuff. Like Kanye has been involved in a lot of stuff and people. Bro, don't give him- Kanye. The other thing I noticed too is that Kanye got everybody wearing these big ass boots too. Man. <laughs> you de- they did need him for that concert though. It was it was water. I know we said that last so, episode, but damn, he got everybody. No, like. no, we said that. <laughs> we said that in person. When I was did telling we? you, that. yeah. Damn, <laughs> you're merging real life and podcast life That's now. Tough. <laughs> but yeah, but then that he it, dressed everybody that came out. Right? Yeah, but it makes sense too because in the document it shows like, I and I honestly I never even noticed Kim style before Kanye and Kim style after Kanye. He. That's what he, that's part of, people don't know that Kanye is like, um, he just like, I don't think people compare him to Virgil enough. Mm-hmm. He is Virgil. Like they, they do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Kanye just happens to rap. That's what Kanye, that's why the documentary is out. It's yeah. like, 
you see, at first, you saw me as just a producer. And I told you that I'm on the Best Rappers Live. Nobody believed me. Mm -hmm. I told you this. And then I told you, no, I told you I'm a rapper. Then I told you I'm the greatest. I proved you wrong again. Then I told you this, and I proved you wrong. That's what the documentary and, and is about. And like he even said, from, even from the, the young, he said, I'm going to be the best dressed rapper. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like. <laughs> and he's, I mean. He doesn't always match the style of people, but he yeah. has the most popular brand. The thing that is that even though I don't like, I wouldn't wear half the shit he wears, right? Yeah, which is fine. But the the influence he has on other rappers too is crazy too because he wore them big boots. Not everybody's wearing the big boots. No. Every, he wore the gloves. The thing everybody's wearing the gloves, like the whole black aesthetics. But back to the Kim thing. Even like the Skims line, if you look at the neutral tones, because you know when Kanye came out with his Easy Brand, it was all neutral tone. And everybody took that. Yeah. So and then so Kim's line is, is the neutral tone Skim stuff, and he, I think he was a big part in helping build that as well, and giving like uh, Kendall Jenner the like a rock a, a chance to walk on her walkway on his walkway for the Easy Collection, and that was like one of her first modeling stuff, and it was like I think she was quoted saying like. Nobody wanted to let me model for them because they thought I was like famous for t uh, reality television, and mm -hmm. Kanye kind of gave her that first. So Kanye is like, uh, put a lot of people on. He bro. put a lot of people he, on. Like, like, I'm not we're, and, like, and we're, we're not saying he put Kim Kardashian on. I'm just, he we're, did. yeah, but into the fashion world, I think so. I yeah, don't think the way she was her, dressing before it was no, not. No, it he was, made her a mogul. Like yeah. she was already famous. She could be. Look at Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton and Kim Kardashian. Paris Hilton used to be more famous than Kim Kardashian. And look at the things she was doing. She was never ever seen as the style icon. It was just no, like wearing the flashiest, no. gaudy stuff. And no. they had like you can just see the they're moving different. They had that. I mean, because I remember I used to watch the the Kardashian show a long time ago. They had that little dash uh, outlet store, retail store that was like a big thing, and that never panned out. Mm -hmm. They had other like the the emoji stuff that came out that really did well for them, but it was like one of those one off when he, uh, emojis were new. Yeah. So now you're seen as just like just fashion icon yeah. with your own line and stuff like that. So especially like the producers and everybody he's been putting on it's kind of crazy a, a lot of people's connection con to kanye gave them fame more mm -hmm. fame than they would have yeah like would travis scott be as big today if he didn't work with kanye i think travis would still be big i don't think so i don't think um travis is big before kanye i don't think kid cuddy would kid cuddy yes but travis i don't think so That's i don't think travis would bro what does kanye like, what does travis I have think, to do with kanye huh what does travis have to do with kanye i think uh kanye helped him I don't. Travis wasn't doing all that shoe stuff before he got with Kanye. You talk about stuff outside of music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I don't know about yeah. I don't know about big stuff about... like Travis. When Travis comes out with the off white, the shit mm -hmm. is it, it retails for regular Jordan price, mm -hmm. but anything Travis is over a thousand dollars. Yeah, a thousand, bro. Yeah, Travis has that uh the like, brown the brown aesthetic now. That's like his his thing. Drake has Jordans, bro. Mm -hmm. He has and, some Nikes that are pretty decent now. Yeah, he got some stuff. You could get that all that stuff for under four hundred dollars. Yeah. Every single there's not a piece of Drake item unless he probably wore it that's under four or five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Almost everything Travis Scott touches, like you can't find anything if it's not if you don't have access to it right away and it goes to like that second little stage or where it's not out, but it's out if you find it. Yeah. Nothing's under a thousand dollars, bro. Mm hmm this is Travis Scott, bro. Who's the more famous person? Drake, obviously. Yeah. But Travis Scott got help with Kanye for his clothing brand, bro. I'm telling you. I don't, I, I still it had don't. To be. I don't think it's true just because he's signed to Nike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I still think it's true. Yeah, I, I still, I still think, think. I still. I, think, I, I definitely I, had an influence. All those people are following what Kanye did. Bro. Yeah, he definitely has an influence. Like even Drake. He's following what Kanye yeah, did. Yeah, I'll say uh, it has an influence. All of them, like Drake. Kanye he, had me wearing the double collar shirts in in, in high bro, school. Bro, he been. He was wearing the. I don't know who got it first. Stunner shades was it Kanye or Soldier Boy? But they was both wearing. Soldier Boy gonna say this first, so we yeah, gotta go duh. with Soldier Boy. We gotta go with Soldier Boy. Like, what? <laughs> Draco. That that text exchange between those two were was actually kind of funny. <laughs> that's too. Sure funny. There was so. some real. That's some real bipolar shit. Not gonna lie. They put him on the album. I get. I I told you that last episode. I get why Kanye is just so bipolar like that. Why? Because that's how. That's how he. That's what he accepts. That's what he thinks is right. Mm -hmm. Coming up with Dame. Dame was bipolar as hell. One day Dame saying you just producer, just producer. He knows that things can change the next day. Yeah. You should never take hard feelings to it unless it's like gets too crazy personal. Yeah. But everything like look what how his mentor did him in the beginning of the documentary. His mentor didn't like that the magazine. So Kanye was supposed to shout out his mentor. 
to a, he did an uh, interview in like uh, XL magazine. Yeah. He posted a shout out his mentor. His mentor uh, read the magazines, didn't see a shout out. Like, you're not going to tell them where you're from. You're not going to tell them that I helped you. Kanye, like, hey, before he could tell him, Kanye was like, hey, like, they just cut it out. I did say it. His producer went on wax, literally put a CEDO at the uh, local Chicago station, dissing Kanye. Kanye mm-hmm. saw him later that night, and they talked it out, and it was cool. So I feel like that's just how he was brought up to mm-hmm. have these fuse and be like, but well, we can still make money together. Yeah. We can still be cute, cool, but like, but like we just disagreed on that. Like Kanye takes disagreement to a thing. That's why I think the beef with Drake happened. It's like yeah. they, they did. It's all about disagreement levels with people. Yeah, it's like you might grow up and nobody's ever called you a bitch before. Mm-hmm. Nobody ever. And you get around me, I'm like, bro, you a bitch. And you like, no, nah, we got to fight. Them fighting words where I'm from. Like we grew up in two different places. Yeah. It's like that's why all them people take like Kanye just be already like shut up you nothing like this and then the next day hey bro let's make some money together that's yeah. how he was raised bro <laughs> yeah. facts yeah people raised differently some people don't play that shit at all you could, you mess with them once you cut off <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you've won ten years of free unlimited service mm. you can pick a driver that comes with a car and free gas okay that will take you anywhere or you can pick a top chef that comes with free food. Mm. I, I definitely I, I'm gonna go with the 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 free food. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take the driver. A driver on standby. Free food, and I I would guess I want a good chef on standby. I think that's way more valuable than getting around. Then get you can go anywhere. I can still drive myself. I know, but it's but it's the free gas and the free car. The free gas. I'm free still go with food. And- I guess food, food, crazy. Food, hey, food, have you feeling good? Oh, that's a tough question. Yeah, yeah. food. I think food just has that hits those dopamines more than than driving than being driven. And you know, a lot of people are gonna say they can they gonna sell it. You know what I mean? What sell the food? Well, like sell their chef. Like, okay, I just start a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. That's just people trying big brain it, but for big the... brain it. But if they want to big brain it, <laughs> <laughs> how crazy would it be if like the driver's side tried to monetize and be like, I'm gonna be an Uber. But you always got to be in the car, though. <laughs> Imagine the Uber service dude sitting in the backseat with you. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> How are you? That's yeah. Yeah, I'm picking the the free. I, it's just the fact that you could be like, all right, I want to go to you know, you know, your mom sometimes goes to Texas and mm-hmm. stuff. Like, what if you could be like, okay, I know I got to be in the car for a while, but free gas and free car. I know I'm gonna get there. I, I just want to go see my mom. You know, you get on your phone, get on your laptop, and just chill. I think to for me, grocery shopping is just mo- the most like strenuous thing mm. to me. If I don't have to go grocery shopping, free food, and you gotta kind of put, it depends how much you drive anyway. The dollar amount with food is always gonna be constant, right? Gas is always gonna be constant, dependent on how much you drive. Right, you're <laughs> right. You actually gotta be able to use it. Yeah, it's a motherfucker working the subway you down can, the street. Yeah, you can leave your you can leave your car in the lot and you're not spend gas on it, but you right. got you need food to stay alive. You don't go nowhere. You ain't got no girlfriend. Yeah, it's, it's then you picked a free car. You just going to work home every day. God damn, boy. Facts. Boy, everything in a two mile radius. <laughs> Fuck you need a driver for. You need, to, you need somebody to walk you. <laughs> oh, man. That's facts, bro. Man, that's a good question, though. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you have one time I called 911? Why do you keep saying 911? 911, <laughs> yeah. bro. Oh my goodness. Tweet. I did this shit. <laughs> Not 911. 911. You tweaking, bro. I said calling 911. It is technically 911, though. It's 911, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but... when it calls 911. You can't call 911. You can. You can. It's just so you but just you can't say it that, that way. It's just because of the date, though. <laughs> it's never like you can't. If somebody says all right pending somebody, pending, no, pending the event of 9 no, 11 somebody call let's switch it so it's not as sensitive yeah let's say somebody says call 411 you say 411 you don't say say i'm about to call I say, 411 i, I say 411 that's crazy <laughs> you, <laughs> you should be executed bro huh you say 411 yeah i saw read out area code when you dial a number yeah yeah yeah, when you, sometimes but the first three words you don't go okay let's say i'm about to say uh my fake phone number. Mm-hmm. All right. 414. I don't go 738 2037. I go 738 2037. I'm talking about the 414, though. 
Even then, that's what I'm telling you. When you got four, when you only got three, uh, I would have said four fourteen. When you got three numbers, yeah, you say four one four. <laughs> you an idiot, bro. <laughs> oh. Somebody asked you like, "Hey, bro, you from Milwaukee?" Like, yeah, I'm from the four fourteen. <laughs> Hell no. I will say that it depends on how I hear it, but I've always said I've always heard four eleven, nine eleven, seven eleven. Yeah, boy, brain. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell. I know algebra is hard as hell for you. <laughs> All right, now. Like, like, what's the one time? You... Oh, the one time I called now? <laughs> Bro, I, so, you know, I went. So, I, I was visiting back home, and mm-hmm. I went I went to church with one of my friends yeah. in Pontiac. So, uh, we went to his church with his family and stuff like that. So, after, like, the fourth hour of service, I decided I needed some water. Mm-hmm. That was a joke. It's not four hours service. But <laughs> <laughs> I was just listening to So I go I go get some water and it's this lady like up against the wall, like slamming her back against the wall. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, like it like she having like a seizure or something that's going on. So like I call a bunch of people outside. I'm like, hey, there's somebody out here. So like I see three people going to her and then I see them surrounding her. I'm like, oh shit, like, oh, it's bad. Let me call nine one one, you know, because I could see like they all surrounding her and they like holding her down and she like shaking and stuff like that. So I call nine one one, and I see and I tell them, you know, blah blah, this lady, she don't look right, you know, there's people around her and they helping her. And I'm outside waiting for the ambulance because they gotta pull around this roundabout and they gotta yeah. see me, like, mm-hmm. oh, over here, you know, just to make sure they get there quicker. So I I wave them down. And as I'm waving them down, they pull up. I go back inside. And as I go back inside and I go check on them, they're like, yes, sister. Yes, sister. Let it all out. And you let it all out. So she had caught the Holy Ghost and they surrounding her. It wasn't nothing wrong with her. And the ambulance people like behind. And I know they getting out the truck. So I leave the church. <laughs> I just leave. <laughs> I still don't know what happened to this day. <laughs> you know some shit you just never look back at? Like, I don't care what happened to That was to the you. most elaborate story for it to end. And I leave. Well, I still don't know how that situation turned out. Somebody insurance went up. <laughs> like, they got called. <laughs> what if the ambulance is like that? They was like, you know, like... Not to make fun of domestic violence thing, mm-hmm. but like in that situation, somebody got to come yeah. downtown if, if he gets called. Somebody called for domestic violence. Either y'all tell us or somebody has to come downtown with mm-hmm. us. What if the same situation happens um, with like the ambulance? <laughs> Yo, if they get called, somebody like, got to come hey, in this car. Hey, I freaked. I had a panic attack. I thought I was having a heart attack. And it was like, nah, we're not trying to hear none of that shit. <laughs> Somebody coming with us. Yeah, it's just, that shit costs. And hey, we ain't come out here for nothing. Yeah. Somebody get in the back of this bitch. <laughs> get on this IV. <laughs> Bro, getting hooked up to an IV against your will is wild. <laughs> that is wild as hell, yeah. ain't it? <laughs> Imagine taking a nap like, yeah, I'm about to give dog CPR. Oh, hold on. I'm awake. <laughs> okay, I got one. All right. If you, if you only could speak one word for the rest of your life, what would it be? Speak one word? So you only can speak one word. Um. So you have to be able to communicate with this word. Probably yes. You're an idiot, bro. You say the dumbest <laughs> shit. <laughs> I can say no. I can signal no with my head. No. No. <laughs> The person that's not gonna listen is the person that don't want to listen. <laughs> they can be like, "Hey, Mike, twerk for me." You gonna be like, "Yes." <laughs> you can be like, "Yes." They can be like, "Yeah, come on, come on." You can be like, "Yes." You gonna be crying and shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk. I'm just gonna use. I'm gonna say yes with my, just my. I mean, no with my head. <laughs> oh, Uh, my shit gonna be damn so people would know that like how I react (laughs) (laughs) hey Pat hey just I'm calling you let you know man the family dog died damn (laughs) 
<laughs> hey, hey, but I, hey, but I got to tell you, I won the lottery. Damn. <laughs> Just to let you know, John got shot too. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> or, or somebody's boss calls them and say, hey, um, we're going to need you to come in on your off day. <laughs> damn. Damn. <laughs> and damn can mean two things. Yeah. Be like, this person didn't show up, so you're going to have to come in today. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you got to find somebody else to do it. Like, damn. Hey, that sounded like a sarcastic damn, like yeah. you're not coming in. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Damn, like you'd be perfect at sports events. Yeah. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, true. Yeah, because I was thinking about the yes thing. I was like, I can't even yell for help if I need it. But <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not helping, dog. He sound like he fine to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you reaching up like. <laughs> You reaching up, you sliding down the hill, about to go into a, about to go into some lava. Yeah, 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 yeah. You and somebody shoot you, you out there bleeding to death. It's like everybody come in, like the cops come in, like, is there one okay? <laughs> yeah, I told I'm, you. I'm bleeding out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you get pulled over by the cops. Do you have any weapons in there? Yeah. Fa, 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 fa. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Have you been drinking tonight? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Speak up. <laughs> Some people take that as disrespect when you just nod too. <laughs> you know what one I was thinking that we could go back to? What? Because you know how I said my word would be damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hella funeral speeches. <laughs> Walk up anything you want to say about, you know, our boy that died. Damn. <laughs> damn. It's <laughs> true. Why well, you in the uh, back like yes <laughs> <laughs> Yes <laughs> He happy as hell <laughs> Damn R.I.P. Johnny Yes <laughs> I meant yes yeah. Yeah, yeah I heard about it My fault <laughs> Oh man Oh shit Oh man You so Oh, go ahead. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so I was thinking. <laughs> go ahead, bro. Okay. It, go ahead, bro. I wish I had a drink to explain it. Oh, there's one right here. Mm -hmm. oh. All right. <laughs> what I was trying to say is that you ever noticed that we all do this when you drink something and it tastes kind of good you just start reading what's inside of it <laughs> i was drinking a, a mango smoothie the other day and i drank it i was like i started looking the back to see what, is, what else in there. it's like this shit can't be that good <laughs> they got in here <laughs> man 96 percent bat blood what the fuck <laughs> That's what Under Armour tastes like. Yeah. <laughs> tastes like the blood of a cow. And a... Under Armour, body armor. Did I say Under Armour? <laughs> I, think oh. did. I was like, I was like, they got drinks. That boy tasting girdle. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was like, where is he going with this? <laughs> that is true though. That's everything though. Yeah, you always drink. You always got to look at the back. <laughs> the back. <laughs> Uh, oh uh, my goodness oh my gosh <laughs> oh. oh okay <clears throat> all right go ahead all right so it's um you ever see you ever uh see someone scroll through their facebook and it looks totally different from the vibe of yours mm -hmm. obviously everybody's facebook looks different but i'm talking about the vibe like i can go on facebook and get pure entertainment yeah almost every post is it could be some girls from back home arguing it could be some dudes back home and some beef. It could be, you know, somebody posting funny videos, somebody making the funny statuses. That's all my, like, people that I'm around do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then you'll see somebody else scroll through Facebook, and it's post from, like, a week ago. Yeah. Because they got, like, 94 friends on there. Mm -hmm. It's just funny how, like, apps mean different things to different people. Yeah. Like, some people actually see their family, like, you know... Eight, nine times a year, which is a lot for me. Will be a lot for me. Yeah, but be a lot for me too. 
that's how I communicate with my family. Mm -hmm. Like, that's how I find out, you know, damn, my auntie just got remarried for yeah. the fifth time. Like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> my aunt is catching strays for no reason. <laughs> auntie Sally, how many times you going to get married? <laughs> How many, how many weddings is too much? I'm tired of calling different people uncle, bro. <laughs> like, when did that shit stop? You ever realize it's like a cutoff for calling somebody uncle? Yeah, if they're like, not really your blood uncle? Yeah, if they're not in your life by like by the time you can really see and yeah. recognize faces, that ain't your uncle. See, the thing is, in Nigerian culture, anybody that's not your mom or dad is, is your uncle. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Like, like especially, that, that I, I feel like Nigerians are not as strict about it anymore, but when you're kids, it's always like... You know how people here say Mister, or th that is more like Uncle this person. Mm -hmm. So that was like the Mister. Ah. So that's like the respect thing. So it's Mister or Auntie. Yeah. Even it's like somebody like if somebody's selling you something on the street in Nigeria, they'll be like, Uncle, Uncle, come, get, Uncle, come and get this. <laughs> like, about to slap the shit out of. Him. <laughs> <laughs> you Who's your daddy? <laughs> That'd be crazy. Yeah. The thing is, uncle is not daddy. <laughs> That'd be crazy <laughs> to go to a country. Yeah. Just a, it's just some random country, and that's how they just communicate. Yeah. They just calling everybody daddy. <laughs> like you gotta put your masculinity up. Yeah. Like, you can't be over there. Too. They gonna beat your ass. Like, hey, why you keep getting mad, bro? Why you keep getting mad, daddy? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, bro, I can't get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody get daddy a ride. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, that'd be that. That'd be a wild word. <laughs> That's the one word they say. <laughs> like, listen, listen to this. Hey, bro, come over here. Mm -hmm. Daddy, come over here. <laughs> That's, why is that so different? <laughs> it's just one word. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> hey, think, uncle, come over here. Yeah. Sis, come over here. Daddy, come over here. <laughs> Yo. Daddy is a powerful word. <laughs> I don't even know if it's, I don't even know if I ever called anybody. I call my dad. <laughs> I call my dad dad, bro. I don't know if I ever call anybody daddy, bro. That must be like No, my... I think I have to call my dad dad. <laughs> Like, your daddy listened to this mad as hell. I guess you say it when you... I just said it naturally. Your daddy. Yeah. <laughs> so, your daddy. So I used to call... Not my to, dad. It used to be with an accent, though. It used to be like... <laughs> da daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so he used to have Y'all accents. Boys, it's over. like daddy and... um. I don't know what I call my mom. I think I call my mom mommy for a long time. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. You wasted so many syllables. Just say mom. I say I say mom and dad now. And I probably said that since like high school. So you was like 16? Yeah. I was the, saying mommy? Yeah, I was and saying daddy? And, da and daddy with an accent. <laughs> like, because I always said it with an accent. <laughs> Not I. But but I got bullied out of saying that because I was. <laughs> hey, they're like, we gonna be his ass every day till he stop this shit. I every used to day. say that, and then everybody look at you weird because like what everybody's calling their dad, dad and mom, and it was just weird for me to say dad and mom, especially growing up. I would say like if I was talking to somebody, I would say my dad and my mom. But to my mom and dad, I would be the, the, Yes. <laughs> it's just some shit you just got to grow out of. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the same thing as them dudes that, like, they took a while to grow out of, like, mm -hmm. dropping their pants all the way at the urinal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, bro, at some point, you can't have your ass cheeks but out. I think the we way, old enough. I think the way I grew out of it was really being in boarding school. Because at 16 years old, when I'm not living with my parents anymore, yeah. I don't have to say... So you Good morning, mom, mommy, or daddy <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> Every time I see You're them, an annoying ass kid. 
Yeah, you're right. It got to stop at certain uh, some age. <laughs> yeah. Probably like right before high school. Yeah. Daddy's probably the wildest thing. That's, 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 that word powerful I, to yeah, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey. Uh, that's yeah. like one word you can't like. I don't know. I don't know too many grown like people calling their dad. D- d- I, I hear people say my daddy. My dad is I think it's like the accent then that you say with. If you're saying it like with like an Atlanta accent, I think it sounds different than when I'm saying it like how I'm saying it. Yeah. Like daddy. Like I can see my daddy. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's but, but it's like, more I think, of I think it's the way I'm saying it too because I'm saying no, it with like more of a high pitch voice. I'm saying my daddy. <laughs> Imagine trying to flag your dad, to, daddy. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe I do say it. I don't know. This podcast is gonna be called Daddy. <laughs> daddy. <laughs> That's how you say it, I guess. Yeah. I just any word. Yeah, it is, but it's still a powerful word. It's one of those things that sure. throw you off, especially in a random setting, too. Yeah. Like hearing another grown man just saying, Hey, daddy. Or somebody like <laughs> nickname. There was a dude on the live. His yeah. nickname is Freak. Yeah. And it's funny how, like, that name is like, it's just like the name. I mean, obviously, his real name isn't Freak, but it's like having the name Karen right now. Yeah. It's crazy how that can morph into like a bad thing because mm-hmm. we're we're moving more towards like the pause era where yeah. people be like, wait, what did he say and what mm-hmm. does he mean by that? Because people are always trying to like find out if someone's instead of just minding their business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like I remember his, the, his the name is Freak. Thing. Yeah. His name is Freak, see but freak. like, right? See Freaky. See Freaky. Mm-hmm. Right? But like to his hometown, like that's see Freaky. Like. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, like, as he gets further along, like, when he's reached college, he's going to run into a bunch of dudes like, yo, we're not calling you no freaky. <laughs> like, How a- do you I- introduce that, too? Because then you, when you're introducing yourself, especially in college. You got to start crying. Yeah. Man, they call me freak. <laughs> Isn't that crazy, too? Like, your freshman year of college or high school, especially college mostly because you're, like, probably most likely going to a place where it's people you never met before or, like, in, not don't even live in the same neighborhood as you. Yeah. But, like, the first thing, the way you introduce yourself can last your whole college career. It's like. <laughs> it's not It's not even the way you introduce yourself. It's, like, what you allow people to call you. Exactly. You got to go out there and stop it. Like, Jonathan Kaminga mm-hmm. plays for the Warriors right now. Yeah. The, the, the fan base, some of the younger fan base of the Warriors <laughs> tried to nickname, nickname him Cumbucket. <laughs> like, he had to put a yeah. stop to that yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, no, that's not going to be my nickname. But if he acknowledged that in any single way, yeah. it's just like with Bobby Portis. How many more jokes are you going to get about your eyes after you acknowledge it? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, ah, uh, you got to be bold to talk about Bobby Portis' eyes. Because what if he, or make a cartoon with his eyes? Because mm-hmm. what if he, like, strike back? Then, yeah. you, know, you know, you're not taking that risk. But now Bobby Portis says, hey, this okay. Make fun of my eye. I know I look like this. Yeah. Now everybody do it. You yeah. know what I mean? Now they show always show his eyes. It's like, and also pick your nicknames uh, carefully. Cause that shit stick with you forever. Yeah. It's like <laughs> Snapchat names. Snapchat, yeah. funny with the Snapchat news, Snapchat just uh, came out with a way to allow people to redo their username. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't so, even know what my username is. Because it used to be locked or you had to go to another um, profile. Um. So you had to get a whole new profile. So, you know, a lot of people's were, you know, I don't know what it was, but, you know, probably inappropriate. And yeah. I, like, I can't even get my boss my damn yeah. Snapchat or whoever. <laughs> Shit, it's my... ball sack. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. You know what I mean? <laughs> Why did you just get quiet <laughs> after a ball sack? <laughs> <laughs> she was immature, Michael. <laughs> if you're pooping in a public restroom and you hear someone yell help, do you wipe and investigate or you finish pooping? You're not going to help nobody constipate it. Yeah. Like you just, you're not adding to Like you're going to be, hey, you're going to be mad as hell. There's like, a lot, there's a lot of things I don't want to happen to me when my pants down. <laughs> like if, if, if it's a big list. <laughs> this is, when I'm pooping, it's uh-huh. like somebody like if somebody's like coming to rob me when I'm pooping, I'm literally gonna be like, please, just let me like I know if you want to rob me, I'll give you or you want to kill me here, Le- let me let Depends me. How bad you scared? It could help you out. Let me like finish wiping. Let me like put my pants on and then you can like shoot me. <laughs> I don't want to be shot. Like take like I don't want them to catch me in a, a position like that and they'd be like, oh, you got shot when he was taking the shit. Now everybody got that picture of me. In the head, saying, "Oh, he was t- Mike taking this shit, and somebody robbing him and shooting him." No, <laughs> let me go out on my shield. Yeah. 
You flush the toilet and then nah, keep the pissed. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so cruel. <laughs> like, fam. I gotta uh, fight at that point because I know he. It's not gonna end in. It's not gonna end good. Wipe, ain't no wiping. Pull them pants up. <laughs> like, come, hey, bro, you gotta let me wipe. No, pull them up. Yeah, I gotta. It it depends. Like uh, the theme. I, I gotta. Think, I gotta know exactly what's going on. I yeah, guess. that's and and part of it is like I'm a like real private shitter, bro. Yeah. I cannot like I'm talking about. I could be in my own bathroom. All the way in there, and I feel like, like, let's say some company just walked through the door. I'm yeah. like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> I need at least ten minutes. I don't want nobody smelling me. I gotta get the smell yeah. down. Like, right, but it's I the to... worst feeling you poop and then somebody walking straight to your house. Like, damn, this how it always smells like. You. They're like, no, <laughs> I just shit it. <laughs> That's why when I worked security at, at in college, I used to try to find the the cleanest bathrooms that nobody used by itself. The single ones that there was like, one in the theater that staff could only use too. There was one in a the theater. There was one in the campus center, like the yeah. single bathrooms, like you. But that's life in college. But to but to, back to the question, I don't think I would help to be honest because I think even if I wasn't pooping, I was just happened to be in the stall like peeing, and somebody's yelling help. I'm putting my my legs on the seat real quick and seeing just what type of situation this is right real quick. Hey, you're wild. Why you peeing? You wild. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying like after. He wild. Not while I'm peeing. Well, he said he peeing. <laughs> <laughs> he said he peeing. And then he hears somebody say help. He said he going to take a step up. Yeah, so then. <laughs> he keep peeing. <laughs> so they don't see my feet. Oh, you scary as hell. I'm not trying to. I'm, hey, back to your, back to your, the Freddy versus Jason stuff. That's bogus. If I hear help, <laughs> hey, he got wait. a gun. <laughs> you gonna Just put your like feet that. up? Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm hiding. Quiet as hell. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, is somebody shooting up the place? You'd be like, so you hiding in the stall? You like this? Somebody shooting up the place? He'd be like, y'all don't think nobody ain't heard it? He'd be like, oh no, something smell like shit. <laughs> It's definitely somebody in the car. Just let me finish, y'all. <laughs> oh man, you see, uh, uh, Rick Ross, um, cutting down his tree. Yeah, he cut that shit down nice. <laughs> he said, he said okay. it, they was charging him a thousand dollars. He had ten, a thousand dollars per tree. And he had ten trees, so they're gonna take charge him ten thousand dollars to cut down the tree. Yeah, but the thing about it is that. It's really not ten thousand to cut down the tree. It's ten thousand to cut it down, and remove get the it. stuff, and get it out of here. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, he forgot that part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like where he's gonna take the damn tree? <laughs> Just ten trees yeah. laid down. <laughs> you kind of mess up your your circumference area hey, more. <laughs> that, that's some shit you don't notice till you die. Yeah. <laughs> no. Listen, you on a seven tree? You like, oh shit, where am I gonna put this shit? <laughs> Now Everybody there's no went, more room to walk and shit. Everybody wonder why you only got seven trees cut down. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> realize, bro. But shit. the funny thing too about that thing is that um, even when he was cutting down the tree, you can tell somebody cut it up to a point for him. Yeah, yeah. And they said, "All right, go," because <laughs> that's not a, something that nobody can do. Because you never know which way he's gonna it's gonna tilt. So he probably had one of his no, home, you but do. I'm saying you know which way he's gonna tilt. But I'm just saying like. Initially, you know, he's not a professional. Right, he wouldn't have got that. Yeah. That was a great cut. That yeah. first cut that that you first saw cut there, that he showed he and it falling down. Yeah, he was smart. He knew he was gonna go viral. But then he did the little donut on a four wheeler. He knew, like Rick Ross. Yeah, I bet you got a song coming out soon. All that shit be fake, bro. The, they say Rick Ross doing all side missions right now. <laughs> so he off the main mission. But no, I think it's it's mainly because uh, he's trying to start a farm. Because mm. I guess you, you know it's the tax stuff that comes with owning. Um, uh, Cows and farming, farming stuff and stuff like that. There's, oh yeah, that's good. Like tax benefits, especially good money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, he he's always going to the next level. Everybody yeah. always talk about he got one of the biggest. He's like one of the richest celebrities. A lot of people don't yeah. know about. He he makes a lot of money. That's for sure. Don't call him the boss. He that's why he raps the way he raps. He talks about the shit he talks about, luxury shit. <laughs> but yeah, that uh, that that video was funny. And then the other one when he was when he got his cow was really funny too. Rick Ross been. It's always funny when anything's happening to Rick Ross is always promoting. That's one of the person that promotes the shit out of the I would love to see a brand. documentary on him. Yeah. Remember it was at one point people were like mad at him because he used to be a, a correctional officer. Correctional officer. Yeah. People were like, oh, he a cop. Mm -hmm. and then he called himself Rick Ross. Oh. He's named, Rick Ross is not his real name. Yes, I know. Which is crazy. They had a thin a poll of top um, 10 corniest celebrities. 
He uh-huh. was he couldn't have been on there. No, 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 no. He wasn't on there, but it was one of those things where I was like, like, who do you think was on there? I know Meek was on there. I don't think Meek was on there. Good. Then who else? Like, who else do you think people already say that's corny? Corny? Are they rappers? Me- rappers and stuff like that. I don't know. That are corny? Name but, one. But so they had people like Bow Wow on there. Oh, that's sweet. They had like Nick Cannon on there. That's weak. They had Wayne Brady. That's weak. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like. How can I, you call somebody? That's their job. <clears throat> but, I'm not saying. I think people. Bow Wow did do some bird stuff, though, one time. Yeah, but I think people take the corny thing as like. When somebody's like maybe not street, yeah. That, Sometimes the thing that sucks about for Biowow is that he he never had a chance to be street. Like, yeah, I don't even think for rappers. I think for even for him, I don't even think it's a street thing. I think it's just like a when you you know when when somebody chooses to go that next level and try something different, right? Right, Nick and Cannon it doesn't went stick. The acting route, yeah, yeah, and it doesn't really stick at first, and it's like. Now you're known for this, and now you've seen kind of like the Drake thing, and then you're on NBC and yeah. stuff like that. It's like you're in a position where most you're, people aren't, so it seems corny tough. right now. Yeah, yeah. and you're they don't perceive you as tough. tough. Yeah. yeah, that'd be like if Lil Durk played in like a a TV series where he was the punk. Yeah, that's why you see a lot of those dudes they keep their same persona. Persona, yeah. like it takes like you gotta be super fan. Like you gotta be like Kendrick Lamar played a crackhead on Power. Yeah, like you gotta be super powerful and like where you stand at to even get away with that stuff mm-hmm. like drake kanye i still haven't seen kanye do it do it everything i've seen kanye in, he acts like kanye yeah i don't think kanye's kind of ever acted in anything i feel like he did an snl and i, <clears throat> I feel like he always kept <laughs> why are you doing everything at the same time it's kind of a weird episode <laughs> but yeah I, I don't know it has kanye been on <laughs> snl <laughs> pause on you we were doing everything at the same time. I know, time. but you said it's kind of a weird episode, and then you eye locked with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to look out. My bad. Let me look at y'all. <laughs> like a scene was about to start. <laughs> Some classical music start playing. <laughs> do, hey, yo. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Listen, it's kind of a weird episode. <laughs> oh, Euphoria is on tonight. Hey. Season finale. We ready. <laughs> We grown men. I can't believe I know we grown ass men watching this show. That's sad. But um, anyways, um, what's gonna say? Uh, HBO. Why does HBO come out at a certain time? On Sundays. Yeah, I feel like we. It's funny because um, I'm watching a couple shows that come out weekly. Mm-hmm. I'm watching The Love Is Blind with my girlfriend. I'm watching Genius by myself, and both of those shows were coming out weekly. Yeah. And I, you can't binge watch it, obviously, if it comes mm-hmm. out weekly. So it's just like, it's funny how shows are starting to move to this era. Yeah. So it's like, it's either a limited series or it's going to come out weekly. weekly. And it's going to come out weekly from the start. Like, nobody's dropped. Like, Ozark just drops their shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I think that's going back to, like, the TV <laughs> model in a sense because Euphoria actually shows on, if you have cable television, it'll show on cable television. Like, mm. the, it, so it just drops on streaming at eight the same time it shows on hbo so people that might watch it on the actual hbo network are still getting like commercial well I, actually hbo has never really had commercials no, so like yes it. there's no hbo commercial so, so there's no commercials if you pay for the app i guess it's part of like, yeah. the reason why you're buying the app so it's still like a, the regular tv model but i'm glad i'm honestly kind of glad you for is like that because one of those things was like watching it the uh, I would we everybody would have watched it in There's a week, many. and you have to keep that. Everybody has to have that shock value at the same time. Yeah. So when Rue had that really good, uh, that really good episode, or Zendaya had that really good episode, if that was a if it dropped all at the same time, we all would have been seeing that episode at a different point of time. So it wouldn't it would never have, like gone as viral as that thing. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, we it's all a, collectively were talking about it's it. A, it's a it's a drama thriller. Yeah. It's a thriller. So if someone gives away one part, that could like make you like kind of disappear twenty episodes from your brain. Like you don't even want to watch anymore. Yeah. It's like somebody coming to you during a Game of Thrones and telling you like, "Hey, this person dies and this person dies." Yeah, you're like, "Damn!" Like these are the main characters right now. It kind of makes me not even want to watch it. Oh, get invested that, in them. Yeah, because I know. Yeah, because it not kind of throws you off when you're supposed to be invested in them. Yeah, that's what's going to carry you to a certain point. Yeah. And it kind of throws it off. And even yeah. though even though this one, technically, anybody can watch it at any time and, or late or early. That's like you kind of watched Euphoria from like season one all the way to now yeah. in a short span. But like it wasn't technically. Boy, just exposed me. Oh, uh, my bad. 
Damn. It's all right, man. What I gave my HBO for? account, and then you gave me your, um, what's the other account you got? You should give me your YouTube TV. I just canceled the one that I needed for the Super Bowl. I know, YouTube. I signed, I signed up for YouTube TV just for the Super Bowl, YouTube for the TV trial. YouTube TV is three screens, bro. Oh, it is? Yes. So three, even if you're using it. And I didn't know that you couldn't play YouTube TV on your computer. You can it wasn't letting me. It was saying it has to be... Oh, I couldn't play it on my phone. You can. Oh, it wasn't letting me. You gotta have the app. I did, and it wasn't letting me. <clears throat> I can pull up YouTube TV right now. Oh, it wasn't letting me. Well, anyway. <laughs> 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 That's funny how we have, like, real-life conversations oh, damn. within the pod. Um, let's, see, let's see. What were you else? No, we have not watched the, uh, the, the Tinder Swindler yet. Have you watched the Tinder Swindler? No. I, you, you watch Inventing Anna, though. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I just I don't know. I just thought it was dope. No, with the with the twindle uh, swindler, it's like I feel like I've seen so much of the the stuff online already to kind of actually enjoy the actual thing because I'm like I kind of know what happened already without having to watch the the series. That's why I haven't personally watched it. Yeah, I, somebody they gave it away. They yeah, gave yeah, the plot away. There was only one plot. Yeah, <laughs> we're inventing Anna. There's like more plots. You yeah. know, it's, it's already it's based on a true story. Yeah. So it's did you kinda... did you start what what episode are you on? I'm done. For real? Yeah. But I was listen, on episode one. God damn. It's really good. Oh, uh, how, how did I suggest? I suggested, suggested so, it. And you I finished, finished it before it. me. It's really good. It's good. That's I just, dope. I got a baby, so yeah, you got I'm time to kill. Yeah. Um, the reason I brought that up <clears throat> was because uh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember why I brought up that. Uh, oh. uh, because both of them are about scamming. Mm -hmm. And I just, and I thought, um, how old are we again? 29. <laughs> um, old as hell. Well, now that I'm 27, I finally found out that we're at the perfect age that where we shouldn't get scammed. Yeah. Like we're young enough to know, like we're young enough to know there's nothing that in life that like, that there's no easy money. There's no easy money. Yeah. <laughs> You know, no, we're old enough to know that there's yeah. no easy money. There's no easy money. You got to work for what you get. You know, that's how they get the young people. Mm -hmm. And we're young enough to know the scams. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I know, like, I'm never giving anybody my... Hey, 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 big brother, you got Chase Bank. You work with Chase Bank, I can get 2000 Yeah. Like, you, by you scamming me and telling me that, either it lets me know that you're dumb as fuck or you think I'm dumb as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm mad both ways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, don't ever talk to me about no bank, bro. Yeah. You think I'm that old? <laughs> you think I'm old? Or you think I'm dumb? It's one or the other. You can't think that me giving you my bank account is going to get me $3,000. Even if I do touch the 3000 which I know I'm not, but even if I do... I know you touch way more, and I know I'm fucked. And your your account going to get closed My right up. My account going to get closed. Yeah. Yeah. But I can see, you know, like, if you want to run, like, you know, you've been in the streets for a while. You need, somebody said they can get 10000 out of there. Yeah, get it how you get it. Get it how you get it, Just man. Just don't kill nobody. That's my main thing. I know that it, it, there's people out there, out there that have killed somebody that still listen to this, man. <laughs> <laughs> Repent. I don't think people that like kill somebody listen to podcasts. You bro. don't think so? No, they got too much. Bro, on there's their definitely mind. somebody that kills somebody that listens to our podcast. That's the wild thing. Not like, not justly. Hey, if you kill somebody, DM. <laughs> <laughs> we want to know. <laughs> All right, we got to end it that. All right, that's been episode 35 of Crash Dummies Podcast. We out. Peace. Oh.